Hi everyone, today I'm just going to be doing a little bit of a vlog. So I'm just going to be starting off by telling you about what I've been up to today. So as you can see the guinea pigs enclosures are looking really really clean and that's because I have done a huge clean out and just got rid of everything and scrubbed everything and cleaned everything and made it all really nice. So I started off by scooping out all of the wood shavings in all of their runs and then what I did was um, once I'd completely got rid of all the bedding I took the lino which is this stuff or some people call it vinyl flooring and this is what we line them with so um, so that basically the mess that they make doesn't get stuck to the wood um, it just makes it a lot easier to clean and disinfect so I took that out and I scrubbed it with hot soapy water and then I disinfected it just to get rid of anything nasty because we only do this massive clean out once a year because it's such a big job especially for one, two, three, four guinea pig runs <laughs> had to count there um, yeah it's a really big job and some people disinfect their cages once a week and they only clean them once a week but I like to clean them every day and just keep on top of it and then I do this massive big clean out once a year because it's just such a waste to get rid of all the bedding and I don't like to do it too often so just do it once a year so I scrubbed and disinfected the lino and then I just wiped it all dry and put it back in and then replaced all the wood shavings with some nice clean stuff. Um, Bramley's now got a tube here because he actually had this coconut, um, it was like a hamster size one just standing up there but I put a tube under because I thought he might like to go in there and hide down there. So. Yeah, I don't really think I've changed that much. Um, we've got this lined out now, so because before it was just little scraps of lino, um, but now it's all one big piece, so it's not like um, it's all going to fall to pieces. So it's just so much better. And when I did it, I just had like little tiny pieces joined all the way around and all the bedding kept falling out of here onto there and it just looked so messy and it was really annoying me so now it's all one big piece and it keeps all the bedding inside the run the guinea pigs have been on the grass today because it's been quite sunny and the grass has been dry so i'm just going to go and see them and we'll we will shortly collect them inside so here are the boys we actually don't put the protector over the top when we're in because we've been in the garden pretty much all day and um, when we put these out and uh, when we put the boys out we didn't go out anywhere we've just been in the garden all afternoon basically so we didn't need to put anything on top because we've always been keeping an eye on them hello sweetheart if you're wondering why they're separated it's because they don't live together they used to fight all the time but we still like to keep them close to each other because they love being next to each other. Hello, sweetheart. This one's Pudsy and this one's Bramley. These two have recently just been washed, so they are looking a lot nicer <laughs> than they were before. They're so sweet, though. Hello, Pudsy, gorgeous. You're gonna come up. Oh, Jasper's coming. Hello, Jasper. He always likes to show off in videos, don't you? You like to show off. He's getting jealous because the guinea pigs are on. <laughs> hey sweetheart. Oh don't chatter your teeth at me. I'm not sure what he thinks about them really, he's a bit shy of them. They're not scared of him but he's kind of scared of them so it's quite funny. So now I've just come over to see the little boys and they're being very naughty. Well Badger is anyway. And Tony's just sat there looking very shocked and scared. Over here are the girls and Rolo. Rolo's just over there. And that's Millie. Hello, sweetheart. These guys are a lot more tame than the others. <laughs> but Millie's quite shy. Hello, Ruby. She's like the most tame guinea pig. Hello, sweetheart. Hi, gorgeous. Aww. You want some dandelion leaves? I gotcha. 
<laughs> they go mad for these. I just kind of feed them through the bars. They all love it. Now Roller's coming over to investigate. Hello little man. You want another one? Oh you want one. There you go. Ruby's like, I want one. You've already had two. Or three. There you go. Millie's really really shy, but she's very very cute. I don't know where Oreo is, she's probably in the house. What are you looking at? So I'm just going to give Ruby her medicine. She's still on Batril from her bladder infection. Good girl. Well done, sweetheart. It was easy, wasn't it? Oh, I think she deserves a treat for that. What do you want, Ruby? And Jasper's been absolutely mental as he always is for my videos. <laughs> so I'm just about to get the gerbils out for playtime. I apologise for the drinking of the guinea pig bottles because they always seem to do it whenever I'm recording. <laughs> Hello Chestnut. Hey sweetie. Oh, aren't you so cute? So what I've got is the top of the Zoo Zone 2 cage and um, the base is now used for their toys. So I've put them all in the playpen now. There we go. So this is Hazelnut. He's so sweet. So this is Chestnut, this is the biggest out of the three of them. So in the evening what I do is I change their sand, I just pour this into a sieve and then shake it all up and they can tell what's coming. And I just scatter feed this because I think it's more natural than having a bowl. I'm just going to get the bag of hay and then I'll give them a handful of that. And then I just put that there. And they have loads of fun chewing that part and taking it to their nest. I also need to change the water. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys soon. Bye!